good morning. Welcome to Ouachita Mountain Living Podcast. Man, I feel like somebody took two bowling pins, held them upside down, you know, where the fat ends there, and they just whacked on me all night. Well, that's from laying a floor. I got about half of the living room floor laid yesterday. I didn't start real early. I didn't even start on it until probably 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It was just one of them days. The weather was terrible. Uh, even though I have a carport, it just wasn't... They were predicting very, very high winds, which I've yet to see. Uh, it was not windy at all yesterday. They were predicting very high winds. Maybe I over, Maybe it's today because the flags are moving today. But anyway, it's not a wonderful day to be outside. Um, right now it's 34 degrees. Yeah, you know this time of year. You, you got 15 jackets in your vehicle because when you go somewhere, it's cold. And then it gets warm. Then you got the air conditioner on coming back. It's like that. But we got some cold mornings coming up for the next few days. So whatever. I'm busy. So yeah, I got about half of the floor laid because I need two by fours from the lumber store to start on my cabinets and you can't I could have hauled them I could have brought a tarp and hauled them and went and got them it was just nasty one of them days you just did not want to be out in it so I said hey man there's no no shortage of things that need to be done I'll start laying the floor so I crammed everything off to one end <coughs> excuse me started laying the floor uh, there's a reason flooring's cheaper at Ollie's, I'll tell you that. Yeah, there's a few boxes where the corners were broke off. Uh, there's some pieces I had to pull out and replace. Thank God I bought a lot of extra. Hopefully I bought a lot of extra. Um, because <laughs> there's some damaged pieces in there. And, and the boxes that they packed that flooring in are not the best. But I should be able to get it all done. Um... You know, I laid the floor in this office, and it took a little learning curve before I got into the swing of things. It seems to me, once you get the first four or five rows laid, then you can turn around and set, you know, with your knees on that new floor, and then you're behind the, the panels that you're putting in. It's a little easier to deal with. I just took a great big old fat pillow and some styrofoam, put it on the ground. I got my knee pads on. Uh, I can lay about one row, and then I got to get up and stretch. Stretching, I think, is the big key. If you don't stretch before you do something like that, when you're not used to that, um, you're going to pay for that. So this morning, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm sore, but I just worked through it, man. Um, too many of us in life depend on others to do things for us, and I am very against that. Uh, if, if I don't know how to do something, I will learn it. You got YouTube, the biggest encyclopedia in the world. Not only that, it shows you. People are actually doing things. So I like to make videos of that, but this putting the floor down isn't real, really a good subject for me to film. But I'm, I am going to film today because, you know, hey, man's got to make money to pay for all this stuff. So I'm going to, I mean, I can't even time lapse it because I'm, I'm doing one row. I'm, I'm sitting for 10 minutes stretching. You can't time lapse something like that. So I'm just going to do the way I usually do it. And, you know, but going back to what I was saying, you know, a lot of us try to hire out things we could do ourselves. Um, simple things, because simply because you say you don't have time or you simply just don't want to do it. And a lot of laziness has come into our society. People that just, they don't want to do it. If it ain't fun, if they can't walk around all day like this, you know, they don't want, they don't want to be involved in that. And man, I was, I was watching a video this morning about this old man that walks around on a walker farting on people. And he goes in Walmart or Target or the mall or he goes to the beach. And it's amazing. I mean, just walking around, and he's walking around in a grocery store, and everybody's like this. And I've gotten behind them people in the grocery store, and boy, do they make me mad. And I, 
I let it be known. I, you know, I'll get up behind them. They're in the middle of the aisle. I'll go. Ahem, ahem. And sometimes they just look at you. Hey, man, I'm on my phone. Don't mess with me. Ah, I hate these things. I hate them. 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 I hate my phone. If I accidentally... <sighs> calm down, Mike. Calm down. You drink coffee. It's a subject that makes me mad. If I leave this in this office and I go retire into my recliner for the evening and I forget that thing and I hear it beep, I just like turn red. I'm like, what now? And it's usually junk. And now this stupid thing, every day it's downloading an app. I, I don't know what I've looked. I don't know what it's doing. But I got a new app I got to delete every day. It's always something I'm not going to do, like a video game or, or something like that. Oh, now I'm getting this call every day that somebody's made a complaint against me. Please call them back. And, and they don't say who it is, or any, so you know it's junk. And then it comes up, potential spam. I don't answer those. I don't answer. <laughs> I don't answer. Unless I, I know who's calling me, I usually don't answer. So, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, how we farm out all the work. Well, you know, I can understand it if somebody is so physically disabled they cannot possibly do something. I'm probably to that point where I should not be messing with this floor. I know it's not going to end well probably. But I'm going to do it anyway because I've done everything else in here. Uh, sometimes you got to work through the pain, man. I have a pretty high tolerance for pain, trust me. Um, especially you're, you're dealing with bad joints and a bad back. I got bad discs. I got a cyst on my right next to my spine. Uh, haven't had an MRI in about three years, so I don't know where that's at. Probably should get one. And yesterday. For whatever reason, I don't know if I have one. I get these mailings every probably four or five times a week from Aetna. And I never open them because I think they're trying to sell me something. Well, I, I, and I'm new to Medicare, okay? I don't know anything about it. So apparently, you know, I noticed I, I started paying like crazy prices for my prescriptions. I only have three that I need. Not crazy prices. We're, we're talking, you know, $60 a month. And, but it never used to be that. So I'm wondering what's going on. Well, then I finally opened one of these Aetna mailings and they, it's a bill. Because it said on the thing that this is a bill. I'm like, what's it, how's this a bill? I don't have them. Well, apparently I did. It's part of the plan for your prescription drugs. And they're billing me $75. For the annual, or for their, for having them. Well, that's more than my uh, prescriptions cost. So, I, yeah, I don't want that. So today I got to sit down and call them up. I didn't even know I had it. I did not even know I had it. So I need to really, and I don't need it. Because I can get my prescriptions for free from the VA. So I got on the VA website yesterday to list all my prescriptions. To sign up for that. I get done listing all the milligrams and all that, and then I go to order some, and they don't have it. It says, well, we don't have that in. So I got to call them because I couldn't figure out their website. Uh, they will, I mean, it won't cost me nothing, and they will mail it to me. So, and I usually get a 90-day supply, and I forget half the time. So I've got like a six-month supply of, of prescription drugs in there because I forget. Uh, or I take them weird times of the day. Who knows? And then, you know, there's a lot of vitamins I take. B12, I take zinc. Magnesium. Uh, vitamin C, I take vitamin D. And I think I'm going to add some vitamin E. But then I heard you got to be careful with it. Because certain vitamins do certain things for certain parts of the body. 
you know a lot of them are for your muscles and joints but then you need to take some you know that that are good for your organs and your heart and things like that i don't know well, man, I can tell you, them magnesiums and the vitamin C's, they were great big horse pills. And, you know, we can swallow a big old bite of pizza, but for some reason you pick a, a horse pill and they're hard to swallow. So I just break them in half and take them that way. I found taking pills, a big old mouthful of pills with uh, tomato juice really helps because it's thick. You got to have something thicker to, to swallow it down with, and it helps a lot helps push it down in your get in your gizzard ten minutes wow and I ain't talked about nothing oh well I don't know so I'm gonna go to I have to go to town I'm out of food but I do got my kitchen set up again my microwave my sink I haven't done my first batch of dishes they're piling up I want a good pile before I mess with it um, I did tear out my cabinet in the corner uh, where I had my silverware drawers and all that. I'm going to rebuild that. It just didn't, it was too high, it was too wide. I've got the butcher block. I'm going to, it's going to be going all the way across now. And then I'm going to build some upper cabinets. But I decided to go ahead and start, get the floor going. It isn't going to be no big deal to mark where the cabinet will go. I won't floor there. I'm also not going to floor underneath the stairs in the living room because that is going to be, I'm going to build storage in there, probably some drawers or cabinets up in there. That does not need to be floored. And then I have a big safe, which obviously I can't move. And I'm going to go around that as tight as I can. And that's it, man. But I am at the point right now where it's going to go about half the width. So it's going to go a lot quicker, and I would not be surprised if I can't knock out a big chunk of that today. And that is the plan. Go to town, get my groceries, might stop at the... I don't really need anything at the heart. I don't need to get my 2 by 4s yet. My issue is everything is all a mess here. Both buildings are full. I've got four e-bikes in the big building. I've got... Actually, I've got room in the other one. But i got to go pick up Peter's refrigerator and stove... And put in there so I ain't, I can't fill that up with nothing. There's plenty of storage in this house. I just have to organize. I, I got to get all this done so I can get it all the loft. I get that straightened up. There's plenty of room up there. There's plenty of room in here when I make this a pantry. This will alleviate a lot of stuff that will be able to come in here. I've got canned goods stacked up in here. I pick up a few more shelves that can go on that. So in the next few months, this place is going to really, it's already amazing me. The lighting, just changing the lighting to LEDs, you know, a lot of, a lot of older people think LEDs aren't good lighting. They've come a long way. That stuff is so bright and it's just a little bitty chip inside there. That's it with a little bitty bulb and how it can be so bright and last as long as they do is beyond me, but hey man I should see the difference in the electric bill but I doubt it uh, because they raise it you know constantly so all right guys we yap too long I, if I go any longer they don't do well so I'm gonna get busy today um, maybe look for a video tonight on the dogman channel see where I get um, just kind of moving things, getting the floor down, then I'm moving like my recliner. I had to move everything back last night so I could watch TV and have Rooster's chair right. She's got to have her chair next to mine, have my little end table. So I got to move all that stuff again, get the living room. Then the shuffle junk from that's in the back of the house to the front of the house, but I'll get it done. And if I don't get it done by this, yeah, it will be done if nothing happens to my back or knees. You should have it done in two days, I hope. Uh, we'll see. But tune in there tonight. If there's not a video, well, then I didn't make one, but I do have plans to make one. Thank you for watching. Happy trails.